All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Shirogorov Neon R20 here with me for a review. And as usual, we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. Uh, but first of all, let's just do a quick size comparison because this is not a really big uh, knife. For example, uh, let's compare it up against uh, uh, his bigger brother. This is the Shirogorov Quantum. As you can see, look at this. This is 3.75, this is 3.35 uh, inch long blade, but there's uh, something even bigger in the family. This is the 110KS, guys, dwarfing this uh, little fella right over here. And uh, also, check this out, Spideco Para 3. Quite comparable handle size, but the Shirogorov is packing a little bit more cutting edge. It's more similar to the um, um, Spectre uh, from Holt Blade Works. A little bit shorter blade and a little bit shorter handle. Uh, for example, here we have it compared to the uh, uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So check this out. Look at this. Blade size, it's longer than the Spyderco. Check the handle size. Yeah. I've said uh, all, and uh, yeah, why not? Just because we have it here, another beautiful, beautiful blade. This is uh, Koenig Arius uh, with a zirconium scale, and this is your large uh, 21 Sebenza from Chris Reeve Knights. So let's check out this guy because it's very, very interesting. Uh, it's a very interesting offering from Shirogorov. It's um, it's a little one. It's uh, a nice one. It's compact. It's the perfect EDCable blade uh, for the summer to toss into your pants and probably kind of like forget about this one because it's slim, it's sleek, it's beautiful, it's lightweight, it's fast. It's uh, it's a pretty good one, guys. Uh, it, this is made in Russia. It's gonna uh, run you around a little bit over $700 uh, if you want to get uh, your hands on this one. It's it's beautifully made. I mean, it's a high-end knife for sure. And this is the R20. This is the 2020 uh, limited edition uh, with these uh, concentric grooves uh, departing from around the pivot and just... Um, reaching you know this side of the scales really really nicely done these are titanium um, stone washed and bronze anodized scales uh, to create this beautiful uh, beautiful frame lock right over here um, overall size of this guy is 7.6 inches uh, handle size is 4.2 when closed um, beautifully skeletonized actually on the inside check this out I don't know if you can see beautifully beautifully done uh, you have um, uh, MRBS logo right on the inside I don't know if you can see it right there uh, chamfering going on everywhere like you don't find any sharp uh, edge or corner or anything I mean maybe this side here but it's nicely rounded off it's beautifully, beautifully done um, for example I mean just check out the backspacer guys like here you don't notice anything. It's absolutely flush with the scales. Beautiful. And these gears, uh, uh, this geared pattern is just uh, thinning down up to the tip right over here. Look at this. And then widening goes and almost disappearing. Ah, oh, guys. This side is rounded off beautifully and then is chamfered like that. Reinforced side right outside of the screws. Look at this. Not to leave, you know, a too thin uh, space between the screw and the end of the handle. Beautifully, beautifully done, guys. Backspacer is a solid chunk of titanium 3D milled with an integrated lanyard hole going on right over here. Centering backspacer, beautifully, beautifully designed. Look at this, how it integrates with the scales. That's a great job, guys. Fantastic. There's uh, some jimping going on here, a little bit, let's say you call it jimping right over here. Um, you also have uh, a lock, stainless steel lock face insert, which is screwed in from the inside, blind screws. And um, it's, uh, it's nicely done. You see the milled area right here to uh, release and disengage the lock bar. Beautifully done. There's a lock bar stabilizer integrated which you can see yeah right over there into the stainless steel uh, lock face insert 
just fantastic. You're not going to be able to overextend the lock bar in any way. Uh, the flipper tab is uh, designed only to do like a light switch like that and it's gonna fly open like push button eh, it's not gonna happen because it's pointy it's gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself but it's designed clearly like this for a light switch not a push button like that but beautifully beautifully done uh, the geometry is really great nicely chamfered uh, so you're gonna be fine just do a light switch you're gonna be good uh, the clip is also really nice the only thing I'm uh, a little bit um, against is the spring tension it's a little bit too strong but uh, it's uh, it's pretty easy to slide it in and out of your pocket you have a nice uh, uh, external lock bar relief cut going on right over here it's uh, nicely done of course these blind screw it's also employed for the pocket clip right from the inside uh, the screws are the classic uh, shikogorov screws so let's say proprietary but you're going to be able to disassemble this one uh, either with um, uh, like a soft metal coin like copper or a an, an, uh, dime and uh, or you need uh, to buy like a, the uh, shikogorov custom tool to to take this one apart just be careful and mindful that there are uh, loose uh, uh, bearings like ball bearings not caged so uh, be careful when you do that um, of course three dim milled titanium uh, um, stone washed uh, pocket clip uh, beautifully done it's not deep carry you're gonna have like this much sticking out uh, from your pants uh, it's tip up only it's not reversible and uh, it, it's it's beautifully beautifully done I mean I love this chamfering going on here and rounded off and then chamfered like that I mean guys they did a beautiful job I, I appreciate the symmetry in the grooves and check out the blade uh, this is a M390 3.375 inch long blade with this uh, beautifully done like stone washed finish ah guys just gorgeous uh, gorgeous finish check this out I mean nice wedge going on this is the new jimping they're employing with some orange peel finish in between the grooves <laughs> these are little details guys but I love them um, check this out the 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 crowning and the swedge ending here to reveal the thickness of the tip right there and then belly basically almost belly up to down here i would say 90 percent belly uh sharpening choil check out the plunge grind like exactly reaching the <laughs> tip the, the heel of the blade like here and then you have this beautifully beautifully designed and chamfered flipper tab which follows this curve nicely you know the finger groove going on right over here very very nicely done guys almost full flat grind you just have a tiny bit of flat going on right over here uh, blade thickness is uh, extremely uh, nice because it's not too thick it's not too uh, for example let's compare it up against the uh, this is a para 3 it's a little bit thinner than that for example which is a good thing so this is a pretty pretty nice slicer uh, you have just a very minimal billboarding going on this is m390 they they also always do that uh, on their blades uh, there's no bear right over here because it's here um, the jimping is uh, not uh, extremely functional you can use it of course uh, but uh, I probably prefer something um, uh, with the older design like uh, this guy right over here uh, but it's it's nicely done I appreciate it this is like the F3 and S uh, uh, it's a newer version uh, for the jimping um, overall the sound this guy makes is very very interesting because it feels like you're deploying a bigger blade guys this is a snappy clack beautiful oh man it's it's very very nice it's a full percussive not loud but it's uh it's a nice clack it's beautiful when you close the knife you have this click oh it's beautiful guys it's it's solid it's um there's some authority i don't know how to say it is a great sound i i, I i'm not gonna get tired of of this noise right over here just just beautiful the weight 
in the pocket of this guy is going to be 2.8 ounces. There's there are no hot spots whatsoever when you when you squeeze the handle. Uh, just uh, just beautiful, pretty perfect grip. The only thing is that I have big hands and this is going to be a little bit, it's going to feel a little bit small in my hands, um, but it feels good. There's no sharp edges. The jimping is all right. I mean, not too much uh, going on. Um, ver reverse grip feels a little bit on the you see, I, I, I miss a little chunk of handle on this side, uh, but overall, guys, it, it really feels solid. There's no finger choil, so you cannot really choke up. You're just gonna have to do a, to use a little bit advanced position for your thumb. Uh, but this texture over here, it's gonna confer a nice grippiness to the handle. And um, I, I mean, the overall uh, fit and finish and construction are, uh, Top level. There's nothing moving, uh, nothing playing. Uh, everything is pretty uh, well put together. No blade play. Uh, it it feels like a solid knife. It's uh, you know two nice solid chunk of titanium put together in a beautiful, beautiful way. The deployment speed, guys, it's super fast. I don't know. This is probably one of the fastest deploying flipper that I've ever owned. And um, uh, this is uh, also like a, a brand new one, so uh, you can see that just falls like that and you just need a wiggle to have the blade closing. Uh, there's no guillotine effect, you just need just a little bit of wiggle and it's going to glide smoothly into the inside the handle. Very, very nice. There is zero finger soreness uh, of uh, when you just do the light switch because the uh, flipper tab is designed so nicely. Uh, beautiful multi-row bearing system going on to give you like this very, very nice, smooth action. Detent strength is medium, so nicely dialed in. Uh, there's no way you're going to be able to touch the tip of the blade because it's indented nicely right over there. Um, there's a, a nice cut out here in order for you to help uh, disengage the lock bar. Zero lock stick because of the uh, stainless steel insert. You have no detent ball ramp so you're going to have this uh, hard step right over here. Uh, but overall guys this is a pretty cool uh, little knife. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.